there were some scary moments for people in northern Japan when, a, when North Korea launched a ballistic missile over that country earlier today. The U.S. and South Korea responded very quickly. South Korean officials say the two countries carried out what they are calling a precision bombing drill in the region. Elizabeth Palmer is following these developments from Tokyo for us. Coastal communities in northern Japan woke up to the sound of sirens and warnings to prepare to evacuate. North Korea fired the missile from near its border with China, right over Japan. It took 22 minutes to fly 2,800 miles, a record distance for a North Korean missile, and crash into the sea. Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida condemned the launch. It was, he said, a reckless act. The news was big and ominous enough for a special edition of the Yomiuri newspaper in Tokyo, spelling out the details to startled commuters. Analysts believe the missile was likely the huge Hwasong-12 on view in a military parade in January. Today's is the latest and most hostile of what's been a bumper year of 23 separate launches, and the first since 2017 to be aimed over Japan. That was at the last low point in North Korean relations, just before President Trump's attempt to negotiate with the leader Kim Jong-un. So far this time, Kim hasn't said a thing, but his message is clear. That is, he is angered and he's threatened by the growing military alliance between the United States and two of his closest neighbors, uh, South Korea and Japan. So what have we seen in terms of reaction in Japan following the missile launch? Well, it was swift. Uh, the defense minister and the prime minister both condemned it as reckless. They expressed some concern for shipping, but then said that uh, they had had a very careful look around the sea offshore and uh, no boats had been damaged, no pieces fell off, that sort of thing. Uh, the prime minister has convened the Security Council. Uh, but apart from ratcheting up this displays of power, you know, military drills and so on, it's, it's just not clear what can be done unless there's real will in Washington uh, and, and Pyongyang somehow is brought back to the table for negotiations. But at the moment, that looks like a very long shot. Yeah, and it's so interesting, Liz, to try and understand, and it's impossible to get into Kim Jong-un's mind, but... but I can clearly see what the upside for him is, which is that he can then show his people, look, we're firing missiles uh, in the airspace of our perceived enemies. But, but from a larger picture, I, it, it, I mean, are people in South Korea and in Japan and is the United States actually worried that Kim Jong-un might engage in some kind of direct military confrontation or threat? Well, perhaps they don't allow themselves to be. Probably they have their moments, but as one of my uh, Japanese uh, colleagues said this morning, I'm so used to this. Right. I, I just... I just dismiss it. And essentially, they rely on uh, the knowledge that if North Korea were actually to attack uh, Japan or perhaps one of the U.S. bases in the region with one of these missiles, that would be the end of North Korea. And so it's, it's, a, it's a mutually assured destruction. Well, in, in fact, in this case, it's not mutual. It's, it, it would be suicidal for them to attack. I think the bigger fear is an accident, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so you, you, uh, in your piece, we saw that you identified what missile they think was used. It's pretty big. Um, 22 minutes is a very short period of time. Do we know anything else about this missile and what it says about their capabilities? Well, as I said, it's got uh, a long enough range that it could hit large air bases in the region, U.S. bases in Guam, for example, or the one in Okinawa. Um, it is, it's not a guided missile. It can't be steered once it's launched. Uh, it's just a ballistic missile. So the, the angle it's fired at uh, determines where it lands. Uh, but it is one powerful piece of equipment. And you know, the, the thing that everybody's got their eye on is that it could be nuclear-tipped, mm. and that would be one more step of escalation in this already very tense uh, region. Yeah, definitely. Very concerning. Liz, thank you very much.